Buffalo Chicken Party Dip. Hey, welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make my world famous, not world famous, my friends like it, an awesome party dip. Buffalo chicken. Simple ingredients, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. Got a block of cream cheese here that I've let uh, sit out on the counter for about an hour to somewhat soften. So we're gonna open that up. I've got a stand mixer. You don't need a stand mixer. I just find it really helps blend everything and it saves those upper triceps from trying to, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. So we're gonna throw that in. Boom, like so. I've got some canned chicken here. Now, if you've got like leftover chicken or whatever, that would be perfect, but the canned chicken is actually quite good. So we're gonna throw that in the mix as well. So I got a measuring cup here. I like it spicy, Jamie not so much, but too bad Jamie. We're gonna put about a half a cup of Frank's Buffalo. So better part of a half a cup. We're gonna pour that in here. And then I'm gonna put in roughly a quarter cup of ranch dressing. I remember learning once that like ranch dressing is supposed to be like a Canadian thing, that like, Americans think Canadians love ranch. Well, we do love ranch. So we're gonna throw that in. I'm gonna use my spatula to make sure I get everything. Do me a favor, leave a comment. Like, do you like ranch dressing? Who doesn't? It's awesome. I'm gonna throw in about three good sized tablespoons of sour cream as well. Some people use low fat uh, yogurt or Greek yogurt. I just use full fat sour cream. So lastly, we just gotta grate some cheese. So the cheese is two part. We're gonna throw it in our mixture here, but then we're gonna put it on the top as well. So we're just gonna, uh, this is just regular good old cheddar. So let's see, okay, that's a pretty good amount. So we're gonna throw that in as well. So now we're gonna throw our stand mixer on here. Lock this down, and start it out on slow. So you'll see how it's starting to mix here. It's really kind of doing a good job to break down that cream cheese to make sure that it's mixed well. And uh, we'll give that a few more minutes. Then we'll scrape the sides with our spatula and give it another mix. So as I mentioned before, if you don't have a stand mixer, it's not a big deal. You can just use a fork or a knife, uh, sorry, a fork or a spoon just to kind of give it a good mix. At the end of the day, this is gonna go into the oven. Everything's gonna melt. So if your cream cheese isn't completely broken down, it's not a big deal. All right, that looks really good. So, uh, Jamie, can you just try that mixture for me, please? Dun, dun, dun. Now, Jamie is not a fan of the heat. So, Jamie, can I get a ruling here? <laughs> Pretty hot? It's hot. He's sweating. Uh, oh, man. Oh. It's got a sweat going. So we're gonna pop our uh, mixing, what do you call this? Mixing? Mixing tool. Tool, spatula thingy. So we're gonna make sure we get all of that goodness off there. Pop that off. And I'm just gonna put this into a Pyrex bowl. So you can see the consistency of it. It's a little bit chunky, which is okay. We'll make sure we get all of this. So we're gonna to top that with cheese and um, we're going to, um, tonight, because we got a big shaker going on here. Actually, it's not that big, a little, little get together. Um, tonight, I'm gonna throw that in the oven, 375, probably 20 minutes. So that's our mixture, so I'll grate the rest of our cheese here now. Always tough when you get to the end of the cheese, for grating purposes. But again, if your cheese is a little chunky, it's all gonna melt in your um, mixture anyway. So I'm not too worried about throwing that in there like that. So this is a great dip, spring, summer, winter, any time of year. It's a fan favorite, I can tell you. My friends and family love it. Uh, I always serve it with uh, nacho chips and it's, it's extremely, extremely good. So I hope you try it, I hope you love it. Uh, so like I said, into the oven. I may grate a little bit more cheese, but for now that's good. Into the oven for 375, roughly 20 minutes, or until that everything is melted, you're gonna love it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment. Do you like ranch? We'll see you on the next one.